Welcome back. Once we have a specific document that we have run through a specific framework, and we've made sure it's unique, what we can do is we can add further context to our query. Now this applies outside of this particular application. What we are looking at is the construction of a sales letter. But we can take this concept and we can use it in anything that we are creating inside of ChatGPT. What we are now going to do is we are going to recontextualize our query into more specifics. So basically, we are going to narrow down the focus of the query that we want ChatGPT to give us information about. And we can do this in any context that we want. We are now going to click Enter. And we're going to wait for ChatGPT to give us the output. Now, the chatbot will attempt to put the information in the context that you require it. It does understand specific queries, even though it will not necessarily match up that query perfectly. We're going to give ChatGPT another query. Now, again, when we input a query like this one, we are writing to a machine. And what it will do is it will use its network to try to determine how to output the information in the query that we have asked. We are now going to click Enter. So basically, what you'll see is that you are continuing a conversation with the chatbot and you are continuing in the same information that you have been building since the beginning. And so the chatbot does recognize all of the other information in previous posts. Okay, so with that, thanks, and I will see you in another video.